Hi, this is Teresa Jackson. I'm going to take you on an in-depth tour of Photoshop's Crop Tool. It's important to understand that cropping changes the pixel count in a document. Depending on the settings, it could also scale a document up or down. I'll get to that a little further in the tutorial. Let's start with the basics. Right now I'm in the Move tool. I want to switch to the Crop Tool, which is four down. I'm going to use the C on my keyboard to get to the Crop Tool. And as soon as you go to the Crop Tool, you'll get these brackets around your image and a new set of options up here in the Options panel. Take a look at the top center. This is the most important option here. By default, it's turned on and it says Delete Cropped Pixels. If I drag in from the corner to change the crop on this and then click on this check mark or hit the Enter or Return key on my keyboard, it'll commit that crop and it'll throw away all those pixels that did a lie outside of that crop area. They're now gone. I'm going to use a command key on my keyboard. That would be a control key on your PC to return previous to the crop. This time I'm going to uncheck this delete cropped pixels. Now notice when I came back to the crop tool I don't have those handles around the edges anymore. I, I don't know why that it does that, but if you want to get them back, there's two ways to do it. One is to just switch out of the crop tool and then switch back. So I'm going to go V for move and then C for crop and then that brings the handles back up. And I'll show you the other way the second time we do this. So I'm going to pull the crop in and I'm going to say OK this time. And I want to go back to the crop tool again to show you that all those pixels are still there because I unchecked this option. So this time to get the handles back, I'm just going to click in the upper left and drag all the way to the lower right. And that returns me to that crop tool. Now you can see all the pixels are still there. So this is the non-destructive way to crop and the way that I recommend that you do that. Now let's pay attention to this pop up here in the corner by where I've clicked. It's got a width and a height setting. Uh, right now I'm right at about 15 inches by 10 inches. So if I let go there and I crop this image, it's, it's basically 15 inches wide by 10 inches tall. But that size is in relationship to the resolution that this image is set to. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And let's go up to the image size and take a look at that. So currently this image is set to 300 pixels per inch. If I change this to 72 pixels per inch without resampling it, so I still have the same total number of pixels and say OK. Go back to the crop tool by dragging this out again. Now when I click on this, it's 60 inches. So I still have the same total number of pixels in the image, but that number that's popping up there is in relationship to the resolution of the file. So I'm going to go ahead and, and cancel this by clicking the cancel button here and go back up to image size and take this back to 300 where it was. As I crop this image, the crop is staying in proportion to the original ratio of the captured image. If I grab on a side here and drag it in, the top and bottom of the crop are reducing in size proportionally. If you don't want this, you can change that option up here in the upper left. It's set to original ratio. If I change it to ratio, that frees it up so that I can custom crop this in any way that I want. If you want a specific ratio, you can type it in here or you can pick from one of these options down here. For example, if I want to print this on an 8x10 sheet of paper, I need to pick the ratio 4 to 5, 8x10. And as I pull the side out, or I drag this down, it'll switch to the horizontal. So wherever I crop this, it's going to be in the ratio that'll fit on an 8x10 piece of paper. If we uh, want to put our own ratio in instead of a default, we can just click the clear button here and we can put in any ratio we want. Now remember when we put these ratios in, it's just a ratio. It doesn't have to do with actual print size or resolution. So I'll change this down here. Now I have a crop that's a ratio of 3 to 2. 
let's clear that and look at one other option here. If you pick width plus height plus resolution, you can actually crop and dial in a resolution of that. And I, I don't recommend doing this because it's scaling the image either up or down depending on the resolution you put in. And sometimes you might not be aware that you're doing that. So, so right now, if I crop this, it defaulted to this 10 inches by 10 inches at 300 pixels per inch. Um, if I do this, let's even make this larger. If I make this um, 15 inches by 15 inches, and then leave it at 300 pixels per inch. This whole image at 300 pixels per inch was about 17 and 3 quarters. So if I crop this much out and say I want that to be 15 inches, I'm going to say OK. It's actually going to be scaling this as it crops it and it added pixels. So let's say uh, undo on that with a Command Z. And let's say we want it 15 by 15 at 100 pixels. And this time when I say OK, it's actually throwing a lot of pixels away and it's taking it to a much smaller file size. So I don't recommend using the width, height, plus resolution because it's going to scale your image one way or the other depending on the relationship of that size and that resolution dependent on how many pixels you had to start with. I'm going to go to the history panel here, open the history panel, and take this image all the way back to where we started so it doesn't have any crop at all. There's one more thing that I want to show you with the crop tool that's uh, not as well known. If you crop an image, now this is remembering my last setting of 15 by 15, so I'm going to switch this to ratio and take this back to the full image size. What's What's not that well known about the crop tool is the crop tool can be used to increase the size of your canvas. It doesn't have to just be used to make the image smaller. So if I drag this out larger and say OK, I now have a larger image canvas to work with.